Let's consider the following example. A mother, mother and daughter are making sugar cookies. The mother says, my recipe calls for three and a half cups of flour to make four dozen sugar cookies. The daughter says, but mom, I need 10 dozen. And what we don't know is how many cups of flour is to make 10 dozen. There are at least two ways to solve this problem. The first one is, and I would guess that the majority of the people in this country would do the following. You would take uh, the four dozen, which is three and a half cups, and double it and subtract that from the 10 dozen, which leaves two, two left over. So you have uh, the four dozen, and then you take half of that. In other words, you take half of the three and a half cups. So what you have, the number of cups, is we doubled it, with three and a half cups doubled, and then you take half of the three and a half, which gives you the, the uh, 10 dozen or the number of cups of flowers. If you add up those fractions, it comes out to be eight and three quarters cups of flour to make 10 dozen cookies. Now to do this mathematically, which any high school student should know how to do, that's one of the operations in mathematics. Uh, by the way, this ratio and proportion is very, very useful. You'll use this all through life. <clears throat> okay, now, in order to find out if this is a candidate for a ratio and proportion type solution, it must meet this qualification. To, are two things being compared? Well, the first thing is, is the cups to dozens of cookies to cups that we don't know to 10 dozen of cookies. So we have two ratios here. We have, for flour, we have the first ratio is 3.5. So what I did, I took the half and changed it half to a decimal. And then the number of sugar cookies for this three and a half cups of flour is four dozen. And, and then the other ratio is at x, which is the number of cups that we need to make 10 dozen. So we have two ratios here. The first ratio is 3.5 to 4. And then that's equal to the x that we don't know times 10 over 10, the uh, number of sugar cookies. So in the numerator, the uh, numerators have to be consistent. Flowers to flowers, um, dozens to dozens. You can't say 3.5 to 4 is 10 to x. Then, then this whole uh, mathematical equation fails. So numerators have to be consistent. Denominators have to be consistent. So if we cross multiply, which gives us a cross product, 10 times 3.5 is 35. And that's equal to 4 times x, which is 4x. And if we solve for x, and you should be able to know how to do this uh, in your high school mathematics. So x is equal to, if you do the math, 8 and 3 quarters cups of flour to make 10 dozen sugar cookies. In order to find out if x, if x equals 8 and 3 quarters is the right answer, in mathematics what you need to do is to substitute x back into the equation to see if that satisfies these two ratios here. So let's just do that. So we have 3.5 divided by 4 as the first ratio, and this is equal to and I'll change this three quarters to a decimal. So it'll be 8.75 over 10. Now, if you do the mathematics here, we have 35 cross multiply 10 times 3.5. That's the uh, cross multiply, and then the cross product is 35 or four times 8.75. So, if we cross multiply 
10 times 3.5. Again, the decimal point moves to the right one, and we have 35. 4 times 8.75 is 35. So this indeed verifies the answer that we got down here at 8 and 3 quarters. So in mathematics, and a helpful hint, which will show up on the helpful hints uh, later on, uh, I'll include this. Always, always go through a math test to do your um, problems all the way through. If you have time, go back and substitute the answer into the main problem. I don't care what the problem is. If you do that and it satisfies it, like this satisfies, then you'll know that you have the correct answer.